Given what we saw in Deadpool and Wolverine, it's clear that Thor will be emotional about Deadpool in Thor 5. But what else can we anticipate from the film? Recently, Chris Hemsworth's comments about returning to the MCU have raised some concerns about Marvel's plans for Thor 5. Let's dive into everything you need to know about the upcoming movie. Let's dive into why we should see Ryan Reynolds in Thor 5. Personally, I'm excited about the idea of Reynolds returning to the MCU after Deadpool and Wolverine, especially since that movie hinted at a connection between Deadpool and Thor. Deadpool and Wolverine marked Reynolds' first appearance in the MCU, paving the way for more future projects. I loved how the film made references to the MCU's broader universe, particularly with the ongoing joke linking Deadpool and Chris Hemsworth's Thor. We were expecting Deadpool to join the MCU permanently by the end of Deadpool and Wolverine, so we were a bit surprised when that didn't happen. However, the multiverse concept, which established Fox's X-Men universe as another reality within the MCU, leaves the door open for future crossover possibilities. Given Thor's recent tumultuous journey, pairing him with Deadpool could be a brilliant move. The idea of seeing the Merc with a mouth in Marvel Studios' unconfirmed Thor 5 feels like a natural next step. Considering how Deadpool and Wolverine made several nods to Thor, it's clear that integrating Deadpool into Thor's story could provide a new tone, a fresh perspective, and an exciting adventure. With Chris Hemsworth currently having more solo MCU movies than any other character, and with Thor 5 likely on the horizon, bringing Deadpool into the mix could help revitalize Thor's character after the mixed reception of Thor Love and Thunder. This idea is really fueled by a scene in Deadpool and Wolverine, where Thor is seen crying over a dying Deadpool in what Mr. Paradox describes as a distant future. The scene cleverly used archived footage from Loki's death in Thor The Dark World, but Deadpool's glimpse of his future with Thor, along with his numerous mentions of Hemsworth's Avenger, suggests a significant connection between them in the MCU. Thor 5 seems like the ideal place to explore this connection further. It's worth noting that the references to Thor in Deadpool and Wolverine were just random nods. There's a solid history of Deadpool and Thor crossing paths in Marvel Comics. They've shared plenty of adventures, often clashing due to Deadpool's incessant chatter and humor, which irritates Thor. While Thor typically gets the upper hand, there have been times when Deadpool has managed to take down the God of Thunder. Notably, in 2011's Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. In Deadpool's solo run starting in 2012, Thor and Deadpool team up early on to defeat a giant monster in New York, and there are multiple instances where Thor kills Deadpool, only for the anti-hero to regenerate and come back. These dynamic and humorous encounters would be fantastic to see adapted for the MCU, making Thor 5 the perfect setting to bring some of these great comic moments to life. Deadpool could be just what the MCU's Thor franchise needs to get back on track. The debate over the tone for Thor 5 is ongoing, whether it should continue the darker tone of Thor and Thor The Dark World or the more comedic approach of Thor Love and Thunder. Thor seems to work best when balancing serious and humorous elements, a formula that Thor Ragnarok nailed perfectly. Deadpool, who excels at blending comedy with deeper moments, would be an excellent addition to help re-establish this balance in Thor 5. Thor Love and Thunder lacked the emotional depth and vulnerability seen in Ragnarok, and incorporating Deadpool could remedy that. Deadpool's ability to navigate between comedy and drama would complement Thor's character and bring back the emotional richness that was missing in the latest film. Additionally, Brett Goldstein's Hercules was set up as a future adversary for Thor in Love and Thunder's post credit scene. Even with Deadpool's inclusion, a battle against Hercules can still fit into the story. In the comics, both Deadpool and Thor have faced Hercules, so there's potential for Deadpool and Thor to start off at odds but eventually team up to battle Hercules. This could lead to the touching moment hinted at in Deadpool and Wolverine, and Deadpool's popularity could reinvigorate the Thor franchise. Thor 5 has the opportunity to resolve lingering plot threads like the post credit scenes from previous movies, and bringing Deadpool on board could make it an even more compelling and well-rounded film. That said, where else could Deadpool and Thor's scene from Deadpool and Wolverine take place in the MCU's future? While I'd love to see Deadpool and Thor's dynamic fully explored in Thor 5, the timing of this unconfirmed film remains uncertain. However, there are several potential venues where their paths could cross. 
One likely possibility is Avengers Doomsday or Avengers Secret Wars. These upcoming Avengers movies, directed by the Russo brothers, are set to merge various MCU realities, including Thor's Earth-616 and Deadpool's Earth-10005. Given this convergence, it would be a fitting backdrop for Deadpool and Thor to meet and further explore their connection. Marvel Studios has confirmed the Russo brothers' return for both Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars at SDCC 2024. Excitingly, Robert Downey Jr. is set to return to the MCU, but this time as Doctor Doom, adding another layer of intrigue to these epic films. The incredible success of Deadpool and Wolverine, which had the highest opening weekend for an R-rated film, suggests that Marvel Studios may be eager to develop more sequels featuring Deadpool. With Deadpool's popularity soaring, it's entirely possible that future sequels could feature more MCU heroes, including Thor. This would allow for further exploration of the dynamic between Deadpool and Thor, potentially expanding on the hints laid out in Deadpool and Wolverine. As for why Chris Hemsworth's recent comments about returning to the MCU have me concerned about Marvel's plans for Thor 5, at San Diego Comic-Con, while promoting his new film Transformers 1, Hemsworth spoke with ComicBook.com's Phase Zero about its potential return to the Marvel Universe. When asked whether he would return to SDCC first for Thor 5 or Avengers Doomsday, Hemsworth expressed his enthusiasm for continuing his work in the MCU but clarified that there is nothing official yet regarding either project. Based on Hemsworth's comments, it's evident that no concrete timeline has been established for Thor 5. This suggests that the movie won't be released before Avengers Doomsday. The upcoming Avengers film, which was announced at SDCC, will be directed by the Russo brothers, who previously worked with Hemsworth on Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Additionally, it was revealed that Robert Downey Jr. will be making a surprising appearance as Doctor Doom. With Avengers Doomsday already scheduled to start production in early 2025 and a confirmed storyline, Thor 5 will likely follow after this Avengers installment. The ending of Thor Love and Thunder sets up a clear direction for Thor 5. Thor is now raising Gore the God Butcher's daughter, Love, and they share a peaceful life on a beach, while the God of Thunder faces a looming threat. After Thor's theft of Zeus's thunderbolt, the Greek god's son Hercules, played by Brett Goldstein, is expected to seek vengeance against Thor for the humiliation. If Thor 5 is released after Avengers Doomsday, it means that the tease of Hercules could have been built up over four or five years, potentially diminishing its impact. Moreover, major universe changes from Avengers Doomsday might affect the plot of Thor 5, possibly leading to a rushed resolution of the Hercules storyline or its complete omission. Additionally, with RDJ returning as Doctor Doom in Avengers Doomsday, Thor's involvement in this film could have significant implications for Thor 5. The God of Thunder might play a crucial role in the Avengers battle against Doctor Doom, setting the stage for a more personal and potentially dramatic conclusion in Thor 5. The possibility of Thor's death in Thor 5 is also on the table. If Thor were to die, it would eliminate one of the Avengers' key players in their fight against Doom in Avengers Secret Wars. This could lead to a storyline where Thor resolves his conflict with Hercules and then sacrifices himself to protect New Asgard, possibly from threats posed by Doom or other villains. This approach would offer a fitting end to Thor's journey, making his potential sacrifice a significant and poignant conclusion to his MCU arc. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the possibility of Deadpool appearing in Thor 5 and how do you think Thor's story will unfold after Avengers Doomsday?